You would not let Bruno do that. Uh, no. Good boy, Hercules. Big girl, my baby. He just slowly, like, herds her away from his goats. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Does she not want to play with you? <laughs> he took a fall and just put it right on her butt. Good boy, her. Good girl, Molly Bear. Look at little Mario, babe. He's super curious. So we may have a problem. Hey guys, welcome back to Can't Ask It Out. Shannon is over here by the trailer, scoping out. What, are there any eggs down there? Okay guys, learn from my mistake because I made a big one. What's that? I took all the guinea eggs from where they were laying, I collected them, and now they won't lay over here. So I have one egg. I moved it from the little nesting spot in the straw that we made. Which and I they had it. used. Yeah, they had been using it, but they're not now. So I moved the egg from that spot back under the trailer. And I'm really, really hopeful that they come over here and lay again. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's something we should have looked into a little bit more. Maybe it's not out there. I don't know. Maybe we're getting it out there. But uh, I think in total, they've probably laid a dozen yeah that we know of yeah but we'll be walking around and just randomly boom there's an egg and quite honestly it's not even in like a real grassy area no. it's not underneath their little evergreen they like to hang out at well i have that reel or short from when we were out grazing the goats and then all of a sudden we're walking along and we see an egg so yep. you know it's just it's a literal easter egg hunt yeah so i don't know you know are they upset that we moved the eggs from where they were laying them maybe big oops so we're gonna keep an eye on it we have been feeding hercules these eggs we haven't eaten them ourselves yet we want to but we got to get a consistent gathering place we wanted enough of them to be able to do like an omelet or something like that yeah so we need like 24 eggs per omelet <laughs> i don't they're really, really know small guys yeah i have big hands so i make them look even smaller but they're little bitty baby eggs i could probably hold about 10 or 12 in my hands what is going on kiddos we were just trying to get the video going Hi, buddy. Hi, 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 I got my tail wagging. Oh, no, Hi. Hi, 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 big guy. Hello. You are so cute. Hi, you probably like a kid. Hi, buddy boy. Okay, guys, this is going to be the day of spruce. Oh, my goodness. If you like to listen to spruce talk, <laughs> Just come within five miles of Shady Acres and you will hear it firsthand. Mama's in heat. I think every 21 days, a doe goes in heat for about 24 to 48 hours. Hi, buddy. I got my stick out of my <laughs> mouth. I can talk now. Hi, Hi buddy. buddy. And Mama is back in heat. I would assume blue is probably pretty close to it too. But I tell you what, the most handsome bachelor in the group is apparently spruce loose Can you believe that? Mama is flirting. He's flirting back. Let's go check out what his tongue does when he makes these noises. <laughs> I don't remember reading about that love language specifically, but he's got He's got his own love language, that's for sure. For sure. Uh, 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 uh. And then Luigi likes to run him off. <laughs> Herc wants to know if he can go ahead and have his guinea egg before his can of food. Oh, sure. Why not? Of course. That's He's... what I did for him yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Come here, buddy. We do have to crack these shells with a rock or my Leatherman or something. You can chuck them in the bowl, but sometimes they just bounce right out. Uh. 
That's a good boy. Spruce or loose? Well guys, as if we needed another project out here. These heavyweights have put the hurt on this Herc hut. And I don't honestly know how it is still standing. They've broken through some of the panels. You can see when he's on the front of it, it's doing this number. <laughs> so I've got some more pallets over there. And I think what I'm gonna do this time is reinforce them with some two by fours or two by sixes, whatever scraps I have laying around. That and great. Uh, make it a little bit stronger for these wide loads. <laughs> He's showing me up a little vibrato over there. <laughs> I mean, babe, does that even, does that kind of make your heart warm? <laughs> you know, it makes me laugh. <laughs> Spruce, you're setting off the birds, man. Spruce, you're scaring mama. going to be the day of spruce today. He just, you know, you never know what you're going to get out of him. We had one quiet day a couple days ago, but it doesn't last long. Hey, I want to show you guys something. I get these wild bursts of energy sometimes to do a little bit of organizing. And let me show you something. Look at how organized this looks. I know it's not really that big of a deal, but when we would walk into this hay shed, it was so, like you just felt claustrophobic because there was hay all the way to the door. We had no room for storage for any of our stuff, straw, hay, all the things. So we finally got a little shelf for in here and I am very pleased with the organization. Small things, you know. Hi, Bluesy and babies. Did you cut back? I cut back. Okay. Yeah, they have been begging ever since the video we did. I think it was. <laughs> A normal day in the life. Specifically, it will be like this for the next 48 hours. It's funny on a video, but six hours in and you're like whoo buddy he doesn't stop it's funny right now first thing in the morning but as i'm editing all day long and listening to it all day long it gets real old real quick but it is pretty entertaining so since we got them out and grazed them last time about two o'clock in the afternoon two to three they all start looking up here and crying a little bit which is not normal for them because they know it's not feeding time what they're doing is asking to come out and graze. Yep. So we've done it each day and it has been fantastic. It has also helped us cut back on the grain for all of them because when they're out there, they are head down, just chomping away and you can watch them just shoving it in. Earl says, would you feed me already? All right, you still like your grain though, don't you? Blue brings them in here. She does such a good job. Mama and her boys, they have to see the food to believe you. The boys will go a lot of times, but Mama won't. She's got to see the food, and then she'll go down in her place. But yep. Blue brings her babies in and says, come on. She trusts us. She knows we're going to bring food. For sure. It's that good stuff, guys. Miss Daisy. Mr. Duke. The Earl Man. Mr. Personality. And the queen of the herd. That's a good girl, Bluesy. What do you think, bud? These my neck nuts. You guys got nothing on me. None of you know how to make noise. I make noise. It's beautiful. Back up. He's got the other goats. It's really hard to tell. I mean, it's easy for us because we're in here all the time. These guys are making 
similar noises. <laughs> he on, can Mama. actually get Luigi to make those noises. But for some reason, Spruce is the <laughs> only goat that can put that much volume behind it. Shocker. Must be the bottle baby way. If you haven't been with us a long time, this is our only bottle baby out of all of them. He was spoiled and his dad, whoa, his dad was Bruce over at Doss Farms. He's gonna make me throw up running around in circles. And Bruce was a terror. Now Bruce was intact and Doss Farms is my older brother, Chad. And Bruce was intact just like Mario and he had similar issues with Bruce. You know, he no longer needed him to breed, so Bruce had to move on. We got one of the products of Bruce. <laughs> and the watermelon did not fall far from the tree. And I say watermelon for a reason, big guy. <laughs> he just snorted. <laughs> yes, he did. Well, can you... Larry and Harry, Larry and Harry, come on, boys. Larry, come, come on, Larry. Larry Bear. There we go. Good job, guys. Here's the incoming. Uh-oh. Spruce. Hey, bud. Come on. Oh, both of them? I, I failed. I majorly <laughs> failed on this one. <laughs> it gets harder and harder the more they get used to it, buddy. Goodness. Who's, who's in heat? Is it you or is it mama? <laughs> I feel like you are in a bit of rare form today, mister. Hey. Are goat saddles a thing? Surely. We got to get a goat saddle for that one. I think I can ride him. I think so too. <laughs> now I might get bucked off real quick, but <laughs> I know. haven't put my full weight on him, but I've I've put a little weight on him and he doesn't seem to mind. He's strong. Yeah. He's really strong. And he's so good and I trust him 98% of the time. It's the 2% when we're feeding yep. that he and Spruce both go, well, crazy. Spruce is always in rare form, but ow, hey, I don't have my steel toed boots on. This guy. <laughs> All right, you're free, you're free. Get on out of here now, go on. I'm stuck. <laughs> ah. All right. It's always an adventure. We haven't even started working yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the nice thing is that Blue and her babies stay nice and calm. They like this nursery. Obviously this is where they were raised, but they just kind of chill and hang out until it's time to join the rest of the herd. I'm not even sure where Bluezy went. Oh, there she is. Are you talking to? These guys, when we first started feeding them down here, Koopa and Lomario have no shortage of brains. They're pretty intelligent goats. And they figured out that their father, Mario, messed with the pin. And so that post is still wobbly. I've got to figure out, and I don't know if I can just press it back, put a little brace up against it, and pour more concrete. I wedged it with a grating stake, but if there's a stick in the ground, and Herc has access to it, it's coming out of the ground. And he took it out within two minutes, I believe it was. So it was doing a good job, but as you can see, where she's pushing, if I let her, it'll lean forward, and then this will actually come unlatched, and they can come back in. Now we don't need that terribly. Like, it, it, we don't separate them and keep them locked up. It's just during feeding time right now, but I would like to have it back in a proper functioning position. Mom, I'm, uh, I'm sorry I was kind of rude when the food was out here. It's you okay. Know? Uh -huh, yep, you uh -huh. just want Herc's food now. Uh -huh, hey, can you give uh -huh. me that scoop and I'll get some dry food, please? Uh-huh, yeah, I can do that. Thank you. <laughs> how big those horns are getting, dude. That's pretty good. Good boy, Larry. Hey, Bear, you just gazing through the window, buddy? I don't know if it's the La Mancha breed. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Or the Shady Acres way. But Larry and Harry, but especially Larry, just hands down the most peaceful goat we have out here. He will stand up to Spruce. He does not cower down to the other goats, but he also knows how big he is or how big he isn't. But his attitude is nice and big toward the other goats, but toward Shannon and I, just sweet as could be and he's becoming a really good big brother to the goatlets over there and blue's even kind of letting them in the circle they cuddle together when they're sleeping at night so it's a pretty cool ecosystem to watch develop and these guys 
are just the sweetest. I ain't nobody. Or did I stop touching you? I'm sorry. What about me? I'm uh, I'm pretty cool too. You are a very good goat, big guy. You just always gotta have something to eat. Are you gonna be a little quieter now that you've eaten? No. All right, Herc. Why not? Because I don't have to. Well, you're being quiet right now. That's by choice, not by recommendation or nothing. Okay, sassy pants. Do you want me to follow you everywhere you go? No. Where my hat? It's coming, dude. We are hoping to have had our last frost, which means, from what I understand, in conversation with Shannon and Dad, that now the countdown starts for garden prepping. Something like that. So I think you waited now like a month and a half, four to six weeks, something like that, as long as we've had our last frost, and then can go ahead and plant seeds. Are you talking gardening over here? I am pretending to, <laughs> but it's like almost 70 degrees today, gonna be about 76. So it's definitely spring weather. We're just missing the sunshine, but no complaints. It was super windy yesterday, oh like 40 to 50 so mile windy. an hour gusts. And fortunately we were able to keep everything. Uh, I don't think we lost anything, got blown away or blown down. We did have that big tree fall over there behind the old barn spot. Yeah. So that's going to be something we're going to have to start working on. Which I knew area, was so. a standing dead, but I did not know it was that close to coming down. And it's huge. And it <laughs> took some collateral damage with it. So it's going to be a little tricky to cut that out without disrupting the tree that it took down with it. But we'll show you that. How about you just show me the hay? Huh? Huh? Mom? Mom? Where the hay? Where the hay? Right here. Yep. We'll get big weeds out of it. <laughs> Blue, you got any hay in there I can have? Aww. These babies are still so stinking cute. So like Kyle mentioned, we've been getting the goats out and Hercules out on a daily basis to graze and just kind of stretch their legs, that kind of thing. And I think we're really, really close to being able to let Herc back in here. I was looking at the calendar this morning and he's been separated for about two weeks now, which is really hard on all of them, on him, on us. Yeah. It's just hard. We've actually had one or two successful outings where Herc did not bleed any. So running around, stepping on things, kicking his feet, all the stuff, no blood on his toe. So I really think that we're super close to being able to let him get back with the herd. Yeah, and I was feeling a little froggy last night. Princess Nala has beautiful black nails. They're gorgeous, but they are black. You cannot see where her quick is, and she is very hesitant to let you... Here we go again. She's very hesitant to let you see her nails, mm -hmm. let alone clip them. So we've always had somebody else do it, uh, but we thought, you know, we're doing a lot of things we've never done before. So I've got the clippers, and I've done one nail on one day, and then I have to wait a few days to, for her to let me come back. Man, last night I, I moved the guard back, and I thought, okay, I really want to get that one. It was one of her main two claws. And it was long and I got her. I got her. She yelped. Bad. She started bleeding. Bless her heart. It broke my heart. That's just not an easy thing to do. You no. can't see where the quick is. And, and I showed Shannon the part that I clipped off. It really didn't look like it was anywhere near where the quick was going to be. But you just got to go in very small increments. And especially if your dog is defiant to it, take your time. Come back to it a week later two weeks later, whatever. It's gonna be a month before Noel lets him touch her toes again. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I may have to call the vet and see if they'll uh, give her a little anesthesia. <laughs> That's what they did to Herc when they neutered him. He came back, I was like, oh look, his claws are all done. That's well, true. That was good thinking. I felt so bad. I did too. You gotta to learn somehow. And uh, that, that was the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> Poor girl. So today we are gonna do something that you guys have been telling us that we need to do. And we knew we needed to do it but we're actually gonna take the time today to do it. The thing that Shannon and I are learning now after two years out here, full time, when this weather comes around, both of us, our wheels start turning. You're just like, oh, okay, we've been wanting the weather to be like this so we can get this, 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 all this stuff done. And so it hits and guess what? We communicate with one another and we're like, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, I wanna do this. And now all the projects are up in the air. So. We have to go back to our one day at a time mentality, 
we focus on one project at a time, maybe two if we're splitting roles. Sure. Uh, and, and we focus on those until they're complete and move on to the next one. Spruce agrees. Hi, Earl. He wanted to climb on me, so I thought I would just Hi, give, him a, give him a lift. You are so handsome. Just not what I wanted, Mom. You are so handsome. I wanted you to are. push. I wanted to push. Yeah. Goodness, you are so handsome. You've uh, you've gotten a little bit bigger, big guy. Yeah. Okay. Watch those horns. Ooh. What do you think, big guy? Hi, hi, YouTube world. My name Earl. I'm a pretty cool goat. You're the earless wonder, huh? The earless wonder. Do do. I have a theme song even. I love it. But today, we are going to eliminate something. Look at this eyesore. That's a snake habitat right there. That thing is just asking for trouble. <clears throat> All right, buddy, while you whisper, whisper, sweet nothings in mama's ear, we're uh, gonna fire up that tractor and get that thing out of here over there, okay? I don't think he knows how to whisper, just FYI. Yes, I do, mom. I'm a good whisperer. Oh, okay. That was like a yell whisper. <laughs> I'm trying, okay? <laughs> Goodness. Mommy, I just want to come out with the goaties. I know, buddy. It's sad. Real soon. We're so close. It's my boy. Yeah, I still, I haven't been able to look real closely yet today, but I got a pretty good glimpse last night and I still can't really see any nail. In fact, some of the folks that were in our last premiere, I think there was two of them that spoke up and said, hey, my dog lost their claw and honestly it never grew back. It just calloused said totally fine they're back out you know doing everything like they always would herc has something to say oh you know what i have something for herc uh-oh was mama holding out what she got over there <laughs> this is the battle between I'll, love and treat yeah i'll toss it to you you can give it to him thank you mm -hmm. what's that big guy that's chicken and waffles from you guys yep thank you he, he loves and them. Nala love them Bruno will get him one day, but he's still on puppy sized treats at this point. Training treats specifically. That's a good boy. I'm a little bit nervous for what's underneath this tarp. Well, if it makes you feel better, I just picked up the little pool that was upside down. There was nothing under it. Really? That's good. Yeah. I don't think we're far enough into the season yet, so we should be okay. Hey, you remember that whole make a mess to clean a mess? Just keep that in mind when you come around the corner over here. You always gotta make a mess to clean a mess. That's my motto. And there's the mess. I'm a little nervous to lift this tarp, are you? Not at all. This is why we try to use screws as much as possible for when we undo things. I mean, there's nothing big under there. Where's my spray when I need it? I know, I actually meant to bring that down here for you and have it ready. I think you got him, he's over here. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, I might have freaked out a little bit. Got me a wasp. Totally earned me a hole in my hat. <laughs> Worth it. Boy, whoever put this together did a pretty good job. Good job, Weech. Killed it.
Did that go as you planned? Yeah, not bad. I kind of thought I was going to lose that second half, but once it pulled off at the bottom, it was light enough to stay together to get it over there. Nice. Well, this is going to make a big difference having this area cleared. Yeah. Well, that's quite a difference, isn't it? We reclaimed some of our land. Okay, so now that we have this area cleared, I kind of want to throw something at you as an idea. If it's another puppy, no. Definitely not another puppy. Now that this is all cleared, I was thinking you could go ahead and dig some holes right here for posts, and we could put a gate in right here. We don't have to cut into any of the existing fence we could just add a panel or like we could take this panel right here and bring it this way yeah or even right well i have here. so i have one full goat panel over there we're going to use the cattle panels for your garden mm -hmm. uh, so i have a spare i believe it's a full goat panel i don't think i've cut it yet and so we could run that off over here okay boy it would be so nice to be able to get in On shannon and side. i get almost all of our steps in per day not as if we have goals by any means but my watch does and uh I'm just walking from the hay shed and around <laughs> you know we, we don't always feed together we do in videos most of the time but when you're by yourself and you're having to feed here come back get more grain go over there come it's back get the steps. hay yeah and it's fine I mean that's that's how we get our exercise but we also get it all the way up the hill chasing Bruno around looking for guinea eggs walking the trail like we want to simplify this for ourselves yeah. a little bit. So let's leave this one right here. That's sunshine. That is sunshine. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. And then just the bugs are bad. The bugs are super bad. Yeah, I have to. I, I have to admit. Yesterday I was walking around, you know, with my mouth open, and I forgot that. Oh yeah, we have gnats really bad, and we used some spray last year. So we're gonna have to come across some of that again. I think it was a natural spray. And I you think it was Wonderside. It. Might have been. Yeah, yeah. And somebody sent us some. So, so anyway, yeah, we're going to be doing this for a minute. So let's bring the panel off of that side of the shelter and down, and then we'll bring it in together here and put gate. a gate right here. Yeah, I may have to stair step because I don't want to take away too much earth next to the shelter right there. I've got some goat panels running from the two by sixes down to the ground to keep out some of the bigger predators. Yeah. The guineas say hi. So do the we, gnats. We hear you. We hear you. Go lay some eggs over there. Well, and you uncovered everything right here, so all the bugs are flying around real bad. Yeah. So yeah, if I brought a panel out here, my, my only concern is the change in elevation right here, because I dealt with that on that pin. And sometimes it works out okay. I mean, this isn't that much more drastic than what that one is, and that panel looks pretty good. I remember I've got yeah. ground contact all the way down. So really, I guess I could just kind of pull it out from here and then I would just have a bit of a stagger where this panel meets this panel. Okay. Which is totally fine. It's what I've got in that corner right over there. Yep, I see it. And that has worked from day one. Good job, babe. Thanks, good job to you. Thanks. Okay, new projects on the project list. One day at a time. I'd like the gate to go right here. Yeah. That's gonna be perfect, babe. I think it will. You know what, I have faith you'll figure it out. <laughs> Basically, if we just use that panel and that gate, it'll tell us how far over we need, we can come. And then I've got one full panel and that would save us from having to even buy another panel. That's perfect. And then just wherever it meets up at the shelter, it meets up at the shelter. Okay. Sounds like you have some work cut out for you digging some holes. It's what I do. Oh yeah. And I think I might've accidentally kind of lost a bolt or a pin in the auger. What? Yeah. That's a pretty violent, whenever you dig holes out here, I hate watching hole digging on social media because people can do it with like a drill 
And it's oh, like, yeah, they some dirt. And beautiful dirt comes up. No, I get that auger out and I got to lean it on my leg and get ready. And it's a very violent event. So it's a lot of fun. It's really hard to dig holes out here. I will give you that. Yeah. But once it's done, it's definitely the right way to go. And I'll get a couple of bags of concrete and make it permanent. Awesome. Well, enhancements to the goat pen, they never stop. And we always have a need for them. Yeah. We take care of them better than we take care of ourselves, I think. I kind of have to agree with that, honestly. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to get to it. Guys, we love and appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey with us. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.